I'm Dr. Christos Apostolou. I'm an upper gastrointestinal, pancreatic and liver surgeon working at the Sydney Adventist Hospital. The standard of care in decision making in patients with cancer is really based on the multidisciplinary team meeting. Uh, this is standard in uh, all academic public hospitals and it's really excelled at the Sydney Adventist Hospital as an academic private hospital. Um, it allows us to freely discuss patients' condition. Um, from a gastrointestinal MDT, we meet twice a week uh, on a Friday morning. Uh, the meeting usually includes at least 20 specialists, um, nursing staff, um, medical students. Uh, it really allows us to freely exchange information on patients in a confidential manner. The real uh, importance of it is that it allows patient, uh, colleagues that are not involved in the patient's care to offer their opinion, uh, unsolicited and without bias, which I think is excellent. Um, treating these patients uh, often um, uh, you become quite involved in their care so it's important to have an opinion of somebody else who's essentially unrelated with regards to the best management so I think that opens up a whole new uh, new approach um, naturally we have um, access to world-class technology with regards to reviewing the images um, everything is digitally uh, carried on our servers and it's freely uh, available to be reviewed and scrutinized by our radiologists and by other colleagues. Um, so it really provides the best platform for us to make uh, excellent decisions towards best outcomes for the patients. Um, as a surgeon, this collaboration and communication in the multidisciplinary team setting is uh, very welcome. Um, there, is a, there is a certain, uh, if you could say, relief that uh, one can feel once you know that you've made the right decision for your patient. Um, in medicine, surgery and all the disciplines, we really depend on peer review um, and often the informal peer review or the discussion peer review is the most honest. Um, it really helps uh, significantly to know that you've made the best choice possible for your patient. Um, and it's really vindicated once the results are excellent and the patients are potentially cured from life-threatening disease. With regards to how effective the collaboration is um, in treating cancer patients, this has been shown time and time again in various uh, uh, papers and literature and practice analysis. Um, we know that the collaboration not only allows us to make better choices, but also potentially prevent uh, risks or exposing patients to morbidity from procedures that may not be um, uh, advantageous to them at that stage of their care. Um, and it's really the, the standard of care that a cancer service needs to exhibit. It, it's no longer an option in management of cancer patients, it's just a standard. So um, I think the fact that we do it, and in my opinion, do it very well at the SAN, uh, is a um, strong contributor to us doing these procedures and, and looking after these patients in this environment.